Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to Plum Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Cape, today we're going to do a general love reading, baby. Let's talk about you and love. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's been going on. If nothing's been going on, let's see what's coming down the chute for you. Let's talk about you and love your Cap. Let's talk about you and love. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guys, what up with the Capricorn Collective when it comes to love? What is clock? Okay. Which is this all about? This card doesn't come out very often. Clock. Need times. Take time. Cycles. Healing. Progress. Tick tock. A tick tock. A tick tock. Okay, I don't know what that means, but let's see what's going on. All right, talk to us. And Cafe. For those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. Oh, someone's spying on you. All right, let's see. Um, if you want one, the link is in the description box below. We start with the Page of Swords. Oh, we start with the Two of Cups. We got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Divine. What direction? This is completely sideways. We're going to leave it like that. We're going to find out what that means. We're going to find out what else we have here. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be someone a little bit sh uh, younger than you. We have Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune is a card of Sag J for me. Uh, we got the two of wands here. We got the nine of pentacles. We're tapping into a very independent, um, could be single or just very independent, but I feel you're single, um, energy here. We have the world. We also have the seven of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, let's talk about this page of swords. Who's this person? Who does motherfucker watching Capricorn? What does Cafe need to know? Who is this person? Who this? Six of Swords, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. Definitely a lot of air here. They want to talk. Now, with that Six of Swords there, they could be at a distance, could be an emotional distance, could be a physical distance. They could be watching you online. That is a card for me of like online dating, online socializing. Just they'd be watching you online here, Cap. So it could be someone you met online. Um, but if you didn't, then they're just someone who's watching you. They're, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, they're going to be real honest and real serious here. There's a nine of wands. Um, so this is a person that is in a distance from you. They want to heal something, the star. You are their just wish come true, dream fulfillment. You are what they want. You're everything that they want, actually, um, with that star here. So they're coming towards you. They're coming to talk. They've been watching you. You're getting the courage. This guy is pretty intense. Like, look at his face. Who's going to put it there? Do, 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 do. Do, do. He's a pretty intense little uh, page of swords here. There could be an age difference between you and this person, but ultimately this person ain't playing games, they ain't messing around. They're coming in a motherfucking serious. They got something to say. Um, and that is that they consider you their soulmate. <laughs> Two of Cups is there. They want a partnership. They want a relationship. Um, maybe they were taking time. Maybe the timing wasn't right. Because that Seven of Pentacles is there. So I do feel with it in reverse. I think there's a history with this person. Maybe you gave up on them. Maybe they gave up on you. Maybe it, it wasn't the right time. Um, wrong person at the right time. And now it's going to be the right person at the right time here. We're going to find out because, um, well, we got the seven of wands there. There's the world. So they want a new cycle with you. The timing is right for them. Let me tell you that cat. They've had their eye on you. They never stopped thinking about you, watching you, keeping an eye on you. But why is the ace of pentacles sideways? What do you want to say about that here for cat? But what does it all mean? What does it all mean? Really? You got nothing? Can we get something? Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles and why it's sideways. <laughs> Please. And the Magician. Judgment. And the Seven of Cups. You might be a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit confused. Um, yeah. Judgment. This person is apologizing. They're giving you an explanation. They're being really honest. Like I said, this person is about to be very vulnerable, very honest, very open, very raw. You got a very... Um, intense person coming in maybe they feel that you if they don't do it now they're going to lose you for good um but they're coming in as the they're coming they're coming in hot with a lot of communication i don't see like hot and heavy trying to get you in bed i don't see any of that energy what i see is someone who just wants to make themselves vulnerable they want you to know them they want you to take the time to get to know them and that's an interesting request because i don't think they let you get to know them in the past and here you are now looking good feeling good smelling good very independent taking care of business abundant and happy and they're coming back here to be honest with you there you are um and there's the two of wands you have a choice to make is this worth the investment or is it not what's the seven of wands in reverse why is that upside down the lovers 
The King of Cups could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, there's you. Judgment. Hmm. Whoa, let's see together. I know I shuffled. I just watched myself shuffle. Sometimes I'm like, did I shuffle or not? But I motherfucking shuffled. So, that's interesting. That's on both ends. So, the question is, are you going to reciprocate? Are you going to be open? Are you going to be honest? Uh, the King of Cups is here. Um, kind of feel like this is more of representing you and your feelings. I think this is someone you thought that there was something, a potential with, and it didn't go anywhere. They didn't invest, Cap. And um, that Seven of Wands is in reverse, though. I think you're dropping your guard. I think you reciprocate this. I think you make the choice to open up. I think you make the choice to reciprocate. You know, I think you make the choice to show compassion and empathy towards this person. I think you let them get to know you. The timing's right. I think it was the wrong person. I think it was the right person at the wrong time. And I think the timing is now right for the both of you. And I feel you have a decision to make. Uh, I was going to call, call you Pisces. It's King of Cups is here. But you could be dealing with the Pisces or Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But the fire, I feel like that Queen of Wands was just telling us that there's passion, there's physical connection, there's an emotional connection. At least they want to create and build an emotional bond with you. I feel that they have an emotional attachment, whether you know this or not. That's just what I feel. Um, and they never really let you go. But now is the right time for them to enter your life and to create something with you. And here they come. Ready or not, here they come. So, Pis or, I'm going to call you Pisces again. Damn. Capricorn could be dealing with the Pisces. <laughs> um, but let's um, let's get some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we shall get back to the Tower Road. They want a new cycle with you. I'll see what you do. Spirit guides, what does Capricorn need to surrender to when it comes to this person? What do you want to say, baby? Ooh, unhealthy relationships. Okay. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and surrounded by positive people. Okay. What's the caring connection between Capricorn and this person? Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Okay. Now let's get the hidden truth that this person could say something that they're not saying. They want to say. They can't say. They should say. And you need to know. Well, let's see what that is, baby. Let's see what that is. What is the hidden truth? I left you before you could leave me. Oh, ho, okay. I lost myself for a little while. I feel you leaving me behind and they're afraid they're going to lose you and they don't want to lose you. Um, okay. Well, 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 let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, cap, hey, means there's always potential. There's always free will, right? You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you and this person in a month? And just basically, where are you? Because I don't really see you making a decision. So are you with them? Are you with someone new? Are you just single, enjoying life? Where are you? What's going on? How's, how's Capricorn doing? We have the Ace of Pentacles. It's upright this time. Okay. What accompanies this Ace of Pentacles? We have the Moon. We have the Six. Oh, Six of Cups. Okay. We have the Chariot. We got the Chariot. We got some movements. We have the Ten of Swords. Whoa. We have the Tower. We have the seven of cups. We got, and there's it. There's justice. Hmm. This is interesting. You can't actually tell. I don't know what this tower is. It doesn't really fit into everything. There's, uh, there, uh, I say tower and then I point at the ten of swords. What the fuck is that shit? Well, uh, what I see is this was unexpected. It's caught you off guard. Um, I'm not, I think, I think that this person just didn't show interest or it just didn't go anywhere. You know, you went, whatever this is, I don't feel like this is like an ex where, you were in a relationship with this person. I think that this is something that didn't go anywhere. And I don't think you were seeing, you didn't expect this. You didn't see this person coming at all. Um, and they came, <laughs> they came in quick. They came there again. It could have been a long distance thing or like maybe something where you met online, you chatted a couple times and this person never really let you go. They never really forgot about you. Um, I think they think it's self-sabotage what they did. They might've sabotaged this. I just feel you have a choice to make. I'm trying to understand the 10 of swords and I can't. So clarify it. What's the Ten of Swords here for Capit? What's the Ten of Swords? Let me understand, baby. Let me understand. The Ten of Cups. Whoa. That's what they're saying. That's been weighing them down the way they treated you or whatever they did. They self-sabotaged um, and they're trying to change that Wheel of Fortune. So they... Um, <sighs> wow. So that definitely caught you off guard. Like I said, when they came, when they come to talk to you here, uh, I was going to call you Pisces again. What the motherfucker? So ugh, now Pisces is on the table again. So <laughs> some of you is a Pisces for sure. Someone with a heavy Pisces in their chart. But um, 
they're telling you that you made them happy. They self-sabotage. They have regrets. They're sorrowful. They made the wrong decision. They made the wrong choice. I also feel they're going to tell you, you know, they weren't, whatever was going on in their life, I think they were confused, overwhelmed, whatever it was when, yeah, they want to do right. The tower, the things fell apart. Things are crumbling for them. I think that, that they, they just self-sabotage here, uh, Cap, and they want you back. Um, they want to win you over. They want you in their life. Um, they left you before you could leave them. They got insecure. They got doubtful. Maybe they think you're too good for them. But whatever that would be, I can speculate till I'm blue in the motherfucking face. But whatever it is, they're telling you that they self-sabotage this. They're telling you that it wasn't the right time for them. They had growing, healing things to do. And now it is the right time. And I actually do see you progressing forward because we have the chariot going right into the six of cups. That's moving forward with this person from the past. So I see you giving them a chance here, uh, Kat. I see you, you know, I don't see you committed and in love or, you know, but I see you working with this person. I see, I do feel they came back with honesty, integrity, sincerity. Um, and I see you moving forward with them. That's where you are in a month. Like I said, you didn't really see it coming. The moon and the ace of pentacles. And now it's upright. Because so I think you were uncertain before. You're like, what the motherfuck's going on here? Um, but after some time talking to them, you know, getting to know them a little bit, especially if they're out of distance, they're not anymore. They're coming to you. <laughs> the chariot's going to the six of cups. So if this was online or if this was a distant thing, no, it's now live in person. We're in the Truman Show, baby. I don't know why I just said that. That was weird. But um, either way, things are progressing forward. They're coming to you. And you guys are just getting to know each other is what I see here. That's what I got for you, Cap. It. So Capricorn, if you like my style, if you like your reading, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Capricorn. I always appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, and let's close your reading off with a yes or no question today. If the card comes up right, it's a yes. If the card's in reverse, the answer is no. What's the answer for Cap? A? Did that flip? It did not flip. What's the answer for Cap? Spirit guides? Are you ready, Kat? No, that's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.